So when you're working on a project, of course, you use cloud code and the dot cloud folder will be created automatically. And in this folder, you just need to create the commands folder and add your markdown files. These files will be your slash commands. And when you want to use it, just uh, use slash. And the first thing that pops up is my parallel task, which is the name of this markdown file. Click on it and yeah, I'm using my slash command. So how it works for cursor? Well, surprise, surprise, you know, in a dot cursor folder, you also have a folder name commands. And in this folder, you also have marked up files, which are your slash commands. So as you can see here, I have one command in my folder. So I can use this command by just hit slash and the name of the slash command, which is review code. But the craziest part about this is that you can actually use the slash commands from cloud code. In my cloud dot folder, you can see that I have two slash commands. And when I hit slash, I can see these commands inside of cursor, which is crazy. Maybe I don't have to, you know, design a set of slash commands specifically in dot cursor because I can reuse my slash commands in cloud code, which is pretty efficient.